G'day, I'm Russell Cameron from Darwin. I'd like to introduce to you to our Mr General Robot Kit. Mr General is a general purpose robot kit that we've actually had for a few years now, but we're now re-releasing the kit as a uh, nice holder and required. This means that you get your two PCBs pre-assembled. The first PCB is your infrared compound eye. This has four infrared LEDs in the centre and four pairs of infrared photo transistors around the outside and allows the robot to detect objects left, right, up and down. The main PCB also has four infrared uh, sensors, one in each corner, and this is used for object avoidance, collision avoidance and edge detection. We also have three pin male and female headers here for hooking up servos and sensors. We have a triple charge circuit on the back here for charging the nickel hydro batteries overnight. And we have a prototype area in the centre here where you can add any additional circuitry you want, such as sensors or voltage regulators. When you've assembled your kit, you end up with this. You have uh, two continuous rotation servos with knobby rubber tyres. We have a uh, quality metal ball caster here. We have our pan tilt assembly, assembly here. This is an aluminium bracket. Um, we have a breadboard. We use the breadboard so that we can plug in any processor we want and wire it up however we want. The kit is currently supplied with an Arduino Atomega 8. This can be programmed with um, the Arduino IDE and this USB interface. Basically, you plug in your USB interface into the breadboard, plug in your cable, use the Arduino IDE to upload your software, and you're good to go. Because these are general purpose robots, there's actually a lot of different things you can do with this robot. Uh, the sample code and wiring diagram provided just allows it to do object avoidance, where if it gets too close to an object, it will stop rather than run into it, and it will track movements with your hand, uh, track your hand movements with the compound eye. downwards and use it for edge detection. This will stop the robot uh, falling off the edge of a table, falling downstairs, etc. be used as a simple range finder. So if you were look, having the robot look left and right in a maze, it couldn't say exactly how many centimetres or inches the walls are away from the robot, but could say this wall is closer than this wall. Yeah. Yeah.
Because all these uh, sensors are infrared, if you have two or more robots, they can also be programmed for communications with each other. Basically, you can create a swarm of these robots, have them all talking to each other. Thank you, my